Once in a while you come across a car that not only turns your head but inspires you. And this, believe it or not, is a kick car. Not that the rather amateur term does it justice. The Raffo Belva is the creation of half Italian John Raffo, now retired, and in the year 2000 I was lucky enough to own his first prototype, powered by a Vauxhall Calibra 2 litre engine. There were, I believe, only eight cars ever built, and I think it's not only worthy to document this unique car project, but also to create a record of my current project to rebuild Raffo Belva number no. 7. I bought this gullwing version in 2008 and immediately found the car to be too noisy and underpowered using an early Ford ZTEC engine and nothing like the prototype I own that was very quick. Although this car had been built fairly soundly, the electrics and interior trim let it down. In fact the wiring of the car was so bad it caused a major breakdown and tow back home in 2009. But I think the most irritating aspect was the soundproofing, or lack of it, which seriously affected the pleasure of driving this beautiful beast. Now it's been off the road ever since, and in 2011 I took the plunge to rip the car apart and start from scratch. I'm no newcomer to car building, and in the late 1980s built a GTM, which was a fairly ambitious project at the time, and not least I focused on the detail in finishing and in particular the interior and trim. In 2011 I acquired a Vauxhall Vectra 2 litre turbo diesel car. I drove it around the block a few times to check out the engine and the gearbox and then we took it apart and took out everything we wanted to make a transplant. With the cost of fuel rising my estimation is the diesel lump in my Raffo will return up to 70 miles per gallon with the option of using vegetable oil. At around half the weight of the Vectra the acceleration should be around 7 seconds for 0 to 60. Well we'll have to see. It's a fairly ambitious project as I also intend to separate the rear end of the body so it lifts off for engine maintenance and to totally redesign the interior, the seats and dashboard. I shall also restyle the headlamps to something more modern and less kit car like. So this is the first stage of Raffo Belva. The person who bought the Raffo project is Mike Phillips who's now moved to the Isle of Man and I got him to look over the car uh, before I um, started uh, pulling it apart. Pension. Designed by Alan Staniforth and uh, John Raffo. Well John did the initial design and then um, Alan perfected it. Um, developed it and got it so it was because there were initial problems with handling on them um, but uh, by the time you got your fir the first prototype car it had all been taken out of it it handled really well that car did, didn't it? Yeah, very yeah, well. So he took, John took me round um, Castle Coombe which yeah. is no um, yeah. easy experience for the <laughs> uninitiated. He was not slow behind no. the wheel. He and that camber's on that horrendous. No.